Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Very much appreciate. Thanks as always for your support, especially all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Today I've got a, a winter scene for you. A very limited palette. Um, I'll show you the colours in a minute. But we've got like a big path, foreground shadows, leading to our little man and his dog walking through the little village. Scraped a few houses there into the trees and whatnot. Cast a few shadows off all these little fence posts. So let me show you the colours first. So the palettes, um, the, one, the colours that I used were Ultramarine, Payne's Grey, Raw Sienna and Umber. Um, that year that, it was just those four. Brushes, most of it, 99% done with a big egg brush. And then I've just got a little flat brush there that I'd use for the fence post. Uh, that one I just used just to make a, um, a, just a lighter area, just to remove some paint. And then just a couple of little rigger brushes. These are my books. If you want to have a look, you'll see all the descriptions below in the uh, they're all on Amazon. Just simple step by step photographs guiding you through each painting. Kept it as simple as I could. So you, you'll see those uh, on in the links below for Amazon. All right, start off a bit of clear water, stop all the crinkly of the paper giving on. Then I'm going to take a bit of a little bit of raw sienna, just a bit of background flavour. Caught just a touch of the well, alizarin crimson there, but that's okay. I'm going to mix a bit of ultramarine and Payne's grey. Starts off in the sky, light over on the left hand side, a bit more blue. Um, and then we got a. It's going to go up there like that. Just working out the main shapes there. So that goes up there like that, something like that. And that's going up there, and that's coming down there like that. So just getting that in first. Don't normally do it like that. I don't know why I've done it to be honest with you, but just trying something different. Um, just wondering, take a bit of burnt umber as well. Another dark colour, burnt umber, ultramarine. And we're going to go. Something like that. What I might do, just flick a few, just to get a bit of variation on the uh, on the trees and things, because they're all just corners of the height brush. If I just pop a few of them in, and then just put a. A bit of that on there as well. Got a building there. There's the roof. Let's have a smaller one next to it. And then another one there, I think. Come back to those in a minute. Just push that up there like that. I'm going to stick another building over here, I think. Have one there, something like that. Push that up to there, like that. Um, just a hint of a few trunks here and there. What I might do is just card now I was scraping with. Let's just use this one. I'm just gonna scrape in a few little few little fence posts, a few more there. Yeah, you're dark, it just gives it another another layer so you, compared to the, the lighter tones behind it. And it's all about creating layers. The more layers you can get in, the better, really. Um, 
just scrape a few things in there, a few, few random details. Don't know what they are, probably overdone it. In fact, it's just paint over some of it. I mean, just leaving all these little white bits just to represent the snow between all these little things that are going on on this little bit of land, this way hill. Bit of brown there, just getting a bit of variation in the colour. Right in. So. Just like lining a like the lining of a pathway that's going up there like that. And if I just Some little fence posts just I want some over on this side as well. It's giving up something like that. Okay, no, no, I'm just going to rub it out, I think. Let's just rub it out with the brush. And that can just be a bit of snow. A bit of dirty snow. Match it on that side. Just pull that onto there, just so that it's similar. I know it's not pure white of the paper. So I just want to try and get it a little bit similar. Um, Take this bit of what oh yeah, I'll just again just just carry that path up up there somewhere. So I just stopped it a bit. Didn't quite get that bit right. I'll paint over that in a minute when it when it dries. But I just wanted to that path just to extend a little bit further up there. Something into that as well because I ain't, I ain't keen on that. To a rigger brush, let's just have the odd. Naked trunk without any foliage on it. Pop one in front of there, like that. Get a little bit darker in there. So a really dark. Middle section. Just use this little flat brush I've got. I just use this for things like fence posts and stuff like that. I might just pop a few little posts on there, maybe a few on there as well. Whoops! Right here. Let's get these a bit darker. And then I'll start probably start thinking about getting a few shadows in, in a minute. Um, Working out how's that gonna go up there? Just 
Right, let's make sure this is flat first. Don't have any dark, it's only how dark do I want actually actually want this? Um well, let's give it a quick dry and I'll look at the shadows. Put those houses that don't quite look right. Let's pop that in there like that. shadows in there so let's just take a bit of brown bit of blue a bit of Payne's grey I'm just looking for a sort of bluey grey mix right then now which way is the sun going um, I'm thinking it's, it's sort of coming across there something like that so it's bringing shadows up past all this lot. And then let's switch to that little brush. I'm giving it into that same mix. I'm just going to pull some shadows. I've done that at an awkward angle, so we're sort of going in this direction. Yeah, these little fence posts just gives you someone to cast a shadow off. Um, just gives that just help, all helps with the impression of light. Um, I want a little man. Well, I haven't got a. I want him up there somewhere, so I'm just going to take some of this paint out so I've got somewhere to stick him. And if I leave it, try and make it look as if I've left it deliberately. Make sure that's dry. And if I switch back to that little, that little rigger brush, that tiny little one, and then if I just, I want quite a dark mix, just a bit of brown and blue. Um, and I'm going to be somewhere, somewhere up there, I think. And he's just walking. Something like that. I mean, little, little. Little dog in front of him. Little dogs around there. Gives him a little little focal point there, I think. I think I'm a uh, Pretty much done, I think. I 
I think I'm going to call that one done now. So I'm just going to stick my name in the corner. Back to the rigger brush. Call that one done. So let's stick a mount on it now and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting, it's mains. So if we want to have a closer look. Started off with a very simple sky. Um, there was a little bit of, just a very, very faint bit of raw sienna there, just giving it a bit of light background glow. And then it was ultramarine and Payne's grey, the predominant mixes. You can see where, I've, I've, as, I, as the paper was drying and I've been putting on the stronger and stronger hedges and trees and things, you can see the other ones in the distance fade away in contrast to the ones, the stronger tones ones in the foreground, I'm creating that sense of depth there, depth of distance and I've sort of scraped in a few random details like fence posts and things like this, This that could be anything, rocks or bits of debris or things just general tools whatever lying about um, took out that lighter area there in the centre of the picture just so I can scrape in the man there walking with his dog and then we've got a few hours he scraped into the dark trees and then just dabs with the brush just leaving all these white bits in between just to represent the snow and then you can see where I then use the little flat brush just to put in these fence posts and the beauty of fence posts is you can just cast little shadows off each one you can see like these here just little shadows coming off each one, just helps with that impression of light. Um, the most, I mean, the most distinctive part of the light, the light, we've got this shadow here in the foreground, just cast something out of shot there, just casting a shadow across the foreground path. And then that leads us up to the little, the little village, man and his dog walking through the, uh, the trees and the, and the little cottages. I could have done, what I should have done with these, there's some posts there, what I should have done was brushed them in and then just scraped the edges with the uh, with the card rather than, yeah that, that was rubbish how I did that, um, just something to ponder on next time. So that's it for this one, thanks as always um, for your support, especially all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin, remember all the books are on Amazon, this patent as well as all the others are on eBay, so if you've got any questions please ask. Um, keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.